Hi guys, welcome to Sons of Cain. We've had another question posted to us this week. It's about the figure of eight, so we're going to start doing the figure of eight with some movement. Um, as you can see, I am in my chair today, so let's see how this goes. What I'll be doing is showing moving with the figure of eight, two canes against the wall and on the floor. A lot of training videos with the figure of eight, everybody's quite happy. Twelve cane, holster of the cane. I will say this is one of my go-to moves and I've used this quite a lot, but moving with the cane, it changes the dynamics slightly. You're almost acting like a gyro and it wants to center itself. So as you're turning, the cane is leaning more towards your body as you're doing a turn. So again, work practicing, moving forwards, backwards, turning to the side, turning around, changing hand. It is very uncomfortable if you're not used to it. So practice moving forward, moving back, changing direction. So if you have a look on the link, you'll see our previous kata, Tashi was with the cane. I'm now going to attempt this doing a figure of eight. So I'm going to go from chambered holster position, so moving forward, back, you can change hands, moving to the left, to the right, Uh, that's the first time I've attempted that and when I was moving I could feel the cane getting closer to me so it is worth practicing. Got all the direction changes in, I only used one hand, you can try with both hands, but the, the cane was moving on its own at some points. So just be aware, if you're going to attempt this, you may strike yourself. So if you, if you do want to have a go at this, it is good, but start slowly and then build up the speed when you build up your confidence. So what I'm doing is going to be doing this with two canes, so if you do need two canes to walk, uh, this is the method that you can do it. And the idea being we can create a stable base, then we can move. But you have to be careful. If you take too big a step or you twirl too much, you can attack the other cane and cause a problem. So you have to be wary when you're doing this. I'm going to take a slight step back. I can twirl. That's now my base, I can move forward, if I need to I can move back, I've still got my tripod, if I want to move to the side, again these won't be big motions because of the limited mobility, so these will be small steps, but what you're trying to do is get off the line, gaining ground is what we're trying to do. As Chris has mentioned, my mobility is very, very, very limited today. Um, so I'm going to look at, I've been pushed against the wall, I've lost one of my canes, but I still want to do the figure of eight. Bringing my feet out, back against the wall, I've got a tripod of sorts. I'm using the wall as that, an extra cane. So you can, by just gently leaning forward, bring the cane out, and do a figure of eight. As you can see, the arm is fully extended, not like when we're doing the proper figure of eight, when we're coming through and using the momentum. This is just basically for a last ditched attempt. For myself, crook out, top shaft grip, I tend to use this motion, which I find a lot easier I can get a little bit more of a forward and backward motion on this and I've still got the stability of being next to the wall. Right. Just to finish this one off, a few weeks ago we actually did breakfalls with the cane but somebody again poses a question, what if? Everybody I talk to has worked in the reality area such as security, bodyguards, door management, bouncers, whatever you want to call them. 
They always say the last place you want to be is on the ground. Even the jiu-jitsu guys say, in the street, you don't want to be on the ground. So the what if was, okay, I've done the break foot, but what next? You got a cane, probably difficult to get up. So what we've done is just adding on the twirls. So I'm just going to do a back break fall, as we did before, down, and then to get up, I'll actually twirl and clearing to make sure nobody comes near me. You can look on YouTube and you can see what happens when you fall on the floor. So practice, do your break falls, break falls with the cane, as you're going down, what now? I don't want to be here. Start twirling. Use your cane, clear some distance, get up, either get out or get ready. Right guys, thanks for watching, that was a figure of eight, we hope you enjoyed it. Any comments, please stick them down below. Let us know what you think. When we go through figure of eight again, we'll be looking at specific techniques and targets you can use. As always, pop in a comment. Please subscribe, ring the bell, free the fear.